right, what is up, Amalette? It's me, Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV, and we're here to do Amber. Amber Lou. It's been a while. There's a lot of gas that tries to cause pain, but it's out, so it's out of my system. So, so we're going to see Amber Lou stay calm. And I know some people bashed her for some things. And just to let you know, guys know, these people, all these cable idols that you once or you look up to, they're not perfect. Just to say, just to clarify, they're going to say things that you will not like to hear. So, yeah, I mean, call them out instead of just... Call them out for the, the wrongdoings instead of the, you know, um, the cancelling way. Because when you cancel, you make your look. It's just... No. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of cancelling people just like that. Because I know there's people that cancelling everyone. Left and right. And don't, when they before you know it, they're by themselves. So they might have just cancelled themselves too. So... We are going to do Amber Lou, stay calm in three, two, one, go, go. Is this a dedication? You are you. No one can take that away from you. Is she going to dedicate the song to Sally? Don't tell me. Is that Sully in the background? See what I mean? Ever since... That's the sister. Okay. Oh, Jack Jack. <laughs> I remember that video. I'm glad that Amber is still continuing to be herself you know, the type of fashion that she wears. I know it's very boyish, really boyish. I, I know I am a bit boyish myself. So it is, it's refreshing to see that you're not by yourself of being, of having a boyish side. I don't think it's bad. But at the same time, I'll still be girly here and there. Like, look, I'm being girly today with the bow. But Amber's like, that type of, you know, levels. Then, you know, I don't think there's going to be any... Oh, Jack Jack. Jack Jack is so adorable. He's such a... I know she's got a cat as well. I don't know his name. I forgot his name. She has amazing friends that look up. <laughs> she... Do you know what? I love her for being her. Wow. Her makeup. Her... She has developed from, if it was, do you know what, I guess if she, if it wasn't for SM, FX would not have existed if it wasn't for her to be in the group. Because FX, let's just put, put it this way and be real, when Sully was around in FX and when she wasn't, you know, when the group was together, when she was in, if it wasn't for the group to even form, Amber would exist. Amber would be doing this right now, and I wish Sally was around. That's one thing I wish. But it's also a wake-up call for Korea to understand that mental health is real. It's not some type of joke. It's not some type of curse. It happens. People have them. She's so beautiful inside out. Amber is marking history. Like, you don't have to be this beauty guru or try to be feminine just to fit in. And she likes men. And, I mean, and she is a normal person. That's what I love about her, that she is a normal person. I love the song actually. I love it.
Thank you for letting me be myself. Oh, Amber! I love this! This is so great to see. Amber is marking territory. She is marking territories with mental health, with being you. Love yourself. If it wasn't for BTS, the Sadists, or Amber, or any of these amazing K-pop groups, I guarantee you the generic music, in, especially in pop music in America, they will not tell you these type of things. They will tell you to touch the booty and boobies and booty, 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 and that's about it. That's, that's, that's the money making. That's the only money making that is popular. But when it comes to loving themselves, it wasn't as that. If it wasn't for BTS, if it wasn't for K-pop, actually not just BTS, if it wasn't for K-pop, no one would realise, oh crap, I should love myself. Yes, I go through this, I go through that. If it wasn't for Jung Hyun, rest, in, rest his soul, God rest his, rest his soul, rest in peace, RIP to my bias, I guarantee you no one would literally start rethinking about themselves because Jung Hyun was one of those people that would make different types of music. And if it wasn't for Amber to go into SM Entertainment, she wouldn't even met these people who she met in SM Entertainment. She wouldn't be as close as she was with Jung Hyun. If it wasn't for Jung Hyun, Amber would be Amber. And Jung Hyun, I think, I, I deeply, this is my opinion, Jung Hyun, I think he taught her a lot. I think he taught her a lot. I think he taught her the like, when it comes to like music writing, writing music and express themselves because you know Jong Hyun expressed himself through music when it, whatever he was feeling he expressed himself and you know what I'm glad that SM let Amber have the boyish side the boyish fashion, like the tomboyish fashion in FX I'm glad they didn't try to make her look like everyone else super feminine and has to wear these these very revealing showing the boobies and anything of that sort or showing the belly button that was never the case they let amber be amber it's like okay so we're gonna let you be the tomboy in the group so <laughs> and i'm glad they did that if it wasn't the case we would say like, what 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 is this and i think that's what i think she is thanking sm for letting her be her and meeting such an amazing people like you know like like Taeyang, um Kai, Jong Hyun and Sully. Oh good old Sully. She really treated Sully as a little sister, that's so it's so heartbreaking. And they miss her. Even Amber admits that she really misses her little sister, that she sees her as a smaller sibling that she never had because she is the younger sister in her family. So she found herself a new, a new, she found, adopted a new sister, Sally, in FX, while wow, they were in FX. And she was, you know, it was, it was so nice to see how close it were, how close the girls were as a family, especially with SM. I know SM has some questionable things. They have done so in the past. Like, out of all the groups, FX was the only group that didn't have a light stick. Now, don't argue with me. I don't have not seen an official light stick, official light stick for FX. I haven't. Throughout the years I've been in cable, I haven't seen one. <laughs> I haven't. And I even checked the past, there was no light stick to be found. And if it was, it was just like... I don't know, it's like, it looked like this. I'm sorry, maybe I'm just exaggerating, but it's more or less like this. Like plain, it's nothing special. When you see like the light sticks that they have for Girls' Generation, Super Junior, Red Velvet, NCT, all... Shiny, TV is cute, all these groups that we know of, and even Boa, they have amazing light sticks. Out of all the groups that they had, FX was the only one that didn't get a light stick. 
and they took years, seven years, seven years to give a group, their fandom, a name. <laughs> Seven years, guys. Seven years. They took them. They, it took SM to give the fans a fandom name. Seven years. That's crazy. That's a long time. And I think Amber knew that they were sooner or later they're gonna get either abandoned or they're gonna get disbanded. And they eventually got disbanded. I saw it coming. Literally, actually no, they're not officially. Yeah, they are. Technically, they are disbanded because the only person left in SM Entertainment is Crystal. And I have a feeling that by the time Crystal's um, contract expires, I think she's going to say, skedaddle. She's going to say, bye-bye. Good to know you, SM. Thank you. Bye-bye. And I think that with Crystal, I think she's going to move with her sister in the same agency. And or pull up sister and just make it help her sister out as well so they're going to boom. <sighs> so yeah it was good to see Amber just being Amber and he showed all the footage that she'd done on YouTube and her stuff with in the past like I wish they could have shown some 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 of the groups with some of the, the stuff with FX because Let's, let's admit, FX made Amber for who she is right now, and if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have Amber. And I'm, you know, I'm ha but still, I'm, I'm very happy that Amber has grown into a talented young mo woman right now. And if you don't believe she's a woman, that's not my problem. She's a woman, that's fine. Or she just got smaller boobs. Women, not all women have big boobs, guys, so, yeah, but I'm glad uh, uh, Amber is back doing amazing music, and she, yeah, she did. So with that being said, that was a 10 out of 10 for me, yeah, yeah, that's all. Annyeong everyone, and Sarangheo.